Hello everybody, my name is James Elliott and I run Elliott Antique Clocks Limited and I also run the eBay shop Neurology Centre. And today um, I'd really like to show you this magnificent uh, carriage clock by Boudin. I mean, it really doesn't get much better than this. Um, we have this wonderfully, I don't know where to start to be honest, the wonderful handle is really organic. Um, it's so well made, so well fashioned, it's all engraved. Um, I love this style of handle, it's really, really great. Um, pristine dial in absolute wonderful condition. Um, signed Boudin with his address and also the year that he won one of his medals in the 18, I believe it's 18, I should have worked this out before. I think it's the 1855 exhibition, but I would just like to confirm that. Yes, 1855 exhibition. Um, it's got all its original fire gilding, as you can tell um, how rich and golden that fire gilding is, it's unmistakable. Um, you've got the sub-seconds um, at 12 o'clock, you've got an alarm dial um, at the bottom there. Wonderfully engraved uh, dial mask. The way the um, you have the engraving on these clocks by Boudin, um, you know, it, he used such high quality um, engravers that, you know, the flowers and the scrolls, they, they've almost got a 3D effect. And that's just purely down to the talents of the engraver. So it's just really repulsively engraved, um, really deep, high quality engraving, as you'd expect from Boudin. And then we see his address and signature on the back door. And then we see the movement. The bell sounds wonderful. Really, really high quality. So I think as this clock is fully unwound, which I normally prefer to do in my videos because it's always nice to wind the clock in front of the viewer. Just trying to find the best. Um, to see it start, look how tight that door is. Really nice. Hardly any wear. I get a winding key here. And as you can see by the um, escapement, I mean, we'll look at it in more detail. There we go, it kicks off, self starts, which is always nice. And that's just a couple of winds. And look at it already. The escapement is really the highest quality that you'll see on a, um, a French clock. Um, I think we've got enough power on the strike. Um, it's such a refined escapement. Uh, end stones absolutely everywhere. Normally you only get the um, end stones at the uh, bottom of the platform escapement. That's obviously not included in the top jewel on the um, on the balance cock. Um, but normally they don't um, put a uh, top end jewel on the um, escape wheel pallet, um, escape wheel and um, pallets. But they have done on here so it's a really highly um, refined escapement but this is what you always expect um, with Boudin he never made the um, the same amount as say the likes of Drocco and Shaco. he was a, a very sort of niche market that's why these clocks are very rare and extremely val valuable and they always do really well on the market I've probably had, this is probably the third one I've had in stock and I'm always actively looking, bidding on, on clocks by this maker. Um, it's just a certain class about his clocks that you don't get with other makers. It's just, uh, it's got its original base plate which is always nice with the corresponding number which is all over the clock. Um, and I think this clock is sold already, um, um, quite unusually, I mean it does happen, um, you know a, a customer will see um, where I bought the clock 
and they'll contact me and they'll say, oh, wait, you, you know, did you see that clock that sold in so-and-so? And I said, well, you know, on this occasion, I, I had actually bought it. So um, you know, I think he wants to buy it. So uh, that's fantastic. Um, you can see the sub-seconds working there. Let's get a close-up of this dial because it's really worth, uh, really worth looking at. And look at that signature. Not a crack, abrasion, or scratch. And the signature is, I mean, the signature is indicative of, of uh, a signature that's actually signed by the maker because it's under the enamel. That's why it's absolutely perfect because it's um, it's been encased or, you know, sort of, um, you know, preserved underneath the, um, the glazed enamel that they put on after as opposed to a clock that's been sold and then signed by the retailer and then that's when you see that they're rubbed because they're done over the glaze so once they're received then they're signed normally normally in the UK we can see this dial mask in in more detail absolutely marvelous thing um, I'm sure you will agree um, it's a sort of mid-range size carriage clock it's not it's not the tallest it's uh, 13 centimeters tall and 16.5 with the handle up oh, gotta hear that bell again it's um and it's actually turned the hands and we can hear the clock I had um, another one of these, but not with this lovely handle. Um, it was obviously still a lovely handle. I mean, it's but a boudin for God's sake. But um, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't as nice as this one. Don't know if it's just uh, it's just me, but it's, uh, it's a fabulous looking thing, and I'm sure it isn't. So there we are. A really, really high quality clock. You don't get to see many of these, so I thought I'd share it with you all, even though perhaps it's um, been sold already. Um, I've got another boudin on the way with uh, triple calendars, um, not in an engraved case, but a very high quality, larger, more substantial case with the same type of handle and the engraving on the back door and the sign dial. So watch out for that one. That video will be coming soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And bye for now.